ちを決めてくるか back and as I was just saying we are approaching the finale of Cabaret Club Czar uh, it's been a pretty incredible <laughs> game all things uh, it's been it's been a whole lot of fun um, twists and turns pretty short LP you know yeah that's fair. only a couple sessions to, to get to get here but uh, I have to say I'm very impressed more than anything with the combat system mm. right like, for a game that's just about running a club, that's a really in-depth combat system. They really went out of their way to make it happen. Yeah, you only had to use it like two, three times, mm -hmm. but it was really good. Yeah. There could have been a whole game outside just about that. You know, it's pretty impressive how much they went, in, they went hard on that, but... Um, yeah, I love when you put little extra details into things like that. So you've got, a, you've got a detailed little combat system, but it's just here for a little extra stuff. A couple of fights needed just to make you feel better about beating down those club bosses. And then you get back to the main game, of course, which is running the show. That's right. So yeah, Take good shit. Paper. Incredible. We're one step closer to the boss of the five stars than Tsukiyama. Hi. He's the only member of the five stars remaining. Got to keep our guard up. For sure. Maybe we should take a trip down to Club Moon when we have the time. And get shot on sight. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm imagining just walk, crawling up to it to do recon and just getting zapped by a Tesla coil. Mm. I agree. Just give us the word. Yeah. Oh, now the colors are extremely pronounced. If you didn't get it yet, right, this shot should tell you what all the colors are about. Oh, we got someone new. And uh, there's our Serena right over there. Does she have anything new to say? Kidnapped on the balcony. Um, Hi, Majima-san. Can I help you? Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, you can just do review hostess training. <sighs> okay. We won't right, talk you, about... You hang out around there. We won't talk about how you, uh, how you got kidnapped. All right, everybody, you ready to work? Majima, yeah. Are you, are you kind of lit? Are you showing up on the job <laughs> drunk? You fucking. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I'm still working. You're drunk. <laughs> the work is being done. Oh, man. I, I think I, I might have told you a, a while ago when I was on uh, Hit Squad at a different studio. In, uh, in Montreal, and uh, there was a dude who was on the elevator. I, I wasn't there for it, they were just telling me about how one of the dudes at that com at the game company, like, it was lunchtime, he went to the elevator, and, uh, you know, a couple people packed in to go down, dude took out his flask, took a swig, someone else was on the on the on the thing was like hey do you want some and he was like no no i'm good he's like okay cool and then you know went off on his way and the guy who was in the elevator with him was like huh you got a bit early for that you know anyways that guy was the ceo of the company <laughs> the guy who was drinking no the guy who the was guy who in the elevator that. i see who saw the other dude pull the flask yeah. out which is it was like the ceo who was visiting <laughs> for the day that's saw that. crazy and it's like oh you fucking idiot you complete moron. That's crazy. <laughs> Bad timing, huh? A little bit early in the morning for that, isn't it? You know? Yeah. It's 8 p.m. somewhere in the yeah. world. <sighs> Which is the polite way of saying it's lunch. <laughs> Though, um, uh, 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 on that exact same note, if you go out to a company lunch, and you have your bunch of mimosas, mm -hmm. and, you know, and such on on the as part of the meeting. Then that's totally fine. Though. That's fine. <laughs> that's totally okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've gotten back a a little tipsy from a from a from a co company lunch. Company lunch, you that's, know. That's funny. Okay, let's try this again. Are you sure? 
who, who, who was it Saki last time? Uh, I think it was Saki last I time. I don't Saki. think it was I. You got body. Let's see what happens. Hold on. <laughs> Let's try not to get sharked. All right. Practice uh, date. Oh. We're going to play some nine ball. Mm hmm. Let's do it. Yeah, sounds like fun. Different girl. Game over. <laughs> you know what? Let's play the tutorial. <laughs> Let's take a second. Right. So I'll first you gotta bounce once and get as far back as you can, right? Yeah. Yes. It's down, okay. Yes. Good luck. That's still too hard. That's oh my god! It was, it was not. It wasn't even halfway. That's good. That's what you want. No, but it bounced twice. You Isn't want that... it to be closest to you. Really. Okay, when I learned this rule, the person who taught it to me taught me that you cannot you cannot bounce twice. You oh. bounce off the, the far wall, and it has to come back closest to you. But if you bounce a second time, um, it, it, it's a, it's a it fail. Doesn't count. Ooh, I don't so I've only, I've only learned I the one bounce that. rule on that. Okay. I didn't know that was okay. Wow. Maybe you got scummed. Maybe you I got, got sharked. <laughs> Maybe. Yo, was like, it for money? <laughs> uh, it was, it was not really. It was, it was back at the, at the community club. I see. Um, community club, the community center. <laughs> it's not a country club. It's like a complete opposite, actually. <laughs> complete opposite for like a bunch of poor kids from in the ghetto <laughs> playing. The community cult. Yeah, yeah, community center. Yeah. And, um, that was, that was what I got. That's how I learned it. Um, okay, so. Halfway back is still pretty strong. Mm -hmm. This is all virtual pool controls. Oh. X for the overhead view. I used to play a lot of virtual pool on my computer too, with uh, with the mouse. It's pretty cool that you could use the mouse to, to like simulate the oh, strength of wow. your hand. It was really cool. Yeah, you click to like line up. Yeah, and then you and you kind of go. And move your hand forward with the same force. I think I played a, a golf game like that, but it sucked. Oh. It was some Tiger Woods game. Yeah, that's not gonna. That, I mean, pool is the, is one of the games that were like the mouse can actually mm -hmm. emulate what you got to do. Okay. Uh, well, don't quit the game. Just quit the tutorial. I didn't think it was going to do the full thing unskippable. Hmm. All right. I don't know if you quit, if uh, it's going to exit the whole thing. Yeah, I'm not sure. Would it be faster to just reload? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. They, Still got give, XP. they give you some XP for it, though. That's <laughs> nice of them. I went on a date with Majima, and all he did was stare at the table for five minutes, and then we left. He looked really distraught. Uh, That's Majima for you. Wait, did I do stuff before we started? I might have done a couple things before we started. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Because we started standing at the door because I went to the store and cleaned up oh. my inventory a little bit. It's fine, it's fine, it's okay. fine, it's fine. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Just throw some money if uh, somebody that's looking for trouble. No, yeah, I just, um, I cleaned up the inventory a little bit. Because it was, uh, getting cluttered and it didn't have all the, um, the heat drinks we needed. Yeah, you got some Toriner.
Got some new dance moves. We've been unlocking a million things. Yeah. Oh. The, all the situational level 3 heats. Mm. Touched. Uh. Yeah, you better be sorry. I wonder in in Japan how many people come running around this small little alleyway and looking at this building. And if they get like a bunch of annoying attention from people thinking it's going to be Sunshine Club or try to see what's in its place. Because there's a couple places that get a lot, like the bridge in in, in Kamurocho is a, a spot that gets attention. Um, it's supposed to be the same, same, same kind of layout, huh? Um, I mean, okay, like 90%. Okay. But some buildings change, some things get sold, some new stores open. Obviously, it's not going to be 100%. Uh, and plus, it's also, like, you know, in the past. So, it's as close as you can get without every literal address in business. Um, and, like, they did... And in the latest game, too, uh, uh, we're talking about how... Like, a dude was that lived in Hawaii was able to practically dox himself. <laughs> you know, by going, Oh, yeah, that apartment building, I, I'm, I live in there. You know, Whoops. so like, no, well, he, he was, it was, or like, it, it, it wasn't a big deal, like, used to, or whatever the okay. case is. But the point being that, um, sometimes there's going to be a, you know, there's no weapon shop in necessarily in that spot, <laughs> Don't. you know, but it might be something else. All right, do what you did last time, halfway. Yeah, that's what I learned was supposed to be the deal. Very good. You got great mastery over your balls. Goro Majima goes first. Zero on ten. What was zero on ten? Man, chalking just becomes like a such a habit. Mm -hmm. Like in Crokinole, when we were learning about chalking and the spinning, it's like, oh, now you've created a little secondary action to do while waiting. Over chalking your stick, over chalking your pieces. For no reason. Finding things to, yeah, just finding something to do, you know, even if you don't need it. Uh, yeah, I'll just place, keep it dead center. Yeah, you don't give it an angle. I mean, I remember learning about, like, that type of shot, but I don't think I'm that fancy. Um, like going from the side and, uh -huh. and going straight on. Like we'll just do a normal break and see what happens. Okay, we got a game. <laughs> we got a game. Maybe, uh, maybe I can shark her. <laughs> that would be sick. Eh. That's a bit sharp. Oh, no, oh my god, no! Damn it. All right, I show us your skills. You thought it was short. It was too. It was, it was too much it was power. A, a bit sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Okay, well, that but was a free. She, that was she free. Place herself somewhere. Like, I gave her a good. I gave her something nice. Call. Oh, nine ball. Anything goes. Yeah. Now we're playing. There we go. 
Can I reach under the table and pull out the second stick and do the, do the, the kid's lineup piece? Uh, wow, it's not for kids. Pros use it too. Do they? Of course. It's for like long shots and stuff. I thought that was a, I thought that was the equivalent of a two-handed uh Oh my god, no, no, bowling. no, not at all. My mistake. <laughs> you should watch more. Uh, so it's not embarrassing billiard. if you pull that no, out. No, not at all. Even for a normal shot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So then why'd my friends make fun of everybody that used because it? Because obviously your <laughs> friends are dicks. <laughs> telling you incorrect rules, uh -huh. shitting on you for using the tools. This is why you're such a scrub. Oh my god. You should have hung out with me. I did learn how to do the behind the back shot, though. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I did learn to that's lean cool. on the table. Oh, that's always nice. From the, from the, and I it's lost that skill. Yeah, and it's like... It's it's swag, but it's also extremely practical, right? There's angles where it makes more sense to do it from because yeah. you're not left-handed. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Majima's tried so hard. Yeah. Don't mind, don't mind. Don't mind, don't mind. Um, can I graze and get? No, I would have gone for side pocket, but that ain't gonna work. All right, defensive shot. Hold on, if I pull one of these, I might just make give her better positioning. Yeah. How's this gonna hit? Let's see, it's gonna go that way, bounce that way, come back that way. Okay. Let me try one of these. That should at least make it a little harder. Okay, well, that's a long shot for her. That's a... Look at this fucking AI, dude. Oh my god! It's we're doing it. Okay, I. We got a real. We got a real game. We got a real game. All right. Busy Bisaki doesn't mess around. No fucking street sharks this time around. <laughs> no. Uh, no fucking. Uh, Sotenbori fats. I understand that she's here to please the customer, you know? Mm, sometimes you gotta lose on purpose. Mm hmm. Sandbag a little bit. Ah, oh, Majima san, my this yo. Yes, the guy. Uh, how are we looking? Yeah, there you go. Can you make jump shots? You can, but I don't trust <laughs> in the ability. Of my 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 aim here. Uh hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't believe in it. Nah. -uh. Why risk why risk everything for that? Um let me see. If I were to if I were to try to do a jump shot like this, but once I commit, once you lock in, I don't think you can back out. That's the problem. Uh, when you go into shooting mode. Yeah, I don't think you can back out of shooting. Let me let me let me see if if so. So change aim. Oh 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 wait. There you go. Okay, you can. Uh, okay, so from here, aiming mode, shooting mode, switch camera, show rules, ball number. Uh, place ball in adjust direction. Yeah, there we go. So like backspin. Yeah. So it would be down here. <laughs> that all the way to the bottom. But that would just create like a short jump and a backspin, right? 
You need uh, enough force, if it's possible. Maximum force, maximum bottom. Oh, I don't know about maximum force. You might fling it over into that plant over there. Yeah. The okay, let me see. Maximum bottom. And then a half force? No. And it's it's a bust. That's fine. It was a defensive shot. Well, actually, no. She's going to place the ball she wherever to get, she, she wants. She has to place the ball. I, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't touch it. Yeah. You didn't touch the ball. All right. Fuck jumping. <laughs> Line it up. Uh -huh. Whew. Table's getting clearer. Uh -huh. oh, that was such a bad idea. Uh -uh. Why did I try to jump? Uh -uh. Why'd I listen to your bullshit? Hey, I just asked. <laughs> he did. Uh, You're the one holding the controller. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, oh! <laughs> she turned it off! <laughs> you got played! David showing the replay! Yo! Ernie Reyes! <sighs> Okay, okay, okay. She's, she's like, all right, all right, all right. That, that, that was good enough. You can have it. You can have it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it was a really bad jump attempt <laughs> that gave it away. Uh, I didn't even know that's called a carom shot. That's that's cool. So, that's like there. Don't choke. That feels right. Oh, that was good. That was nice. Nice date. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jesus. Making you sweat. She turned it on for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Pay up. Crushed her. <laughs> Great day. Do you see what happens, Carla? <laughs> Will you mess with the warrior? <laughs> yeah. That was perfect? Damn. Sure was. Next to you, I got some great tips on how to play pool. You're so good at this, Majima-san. The rubber band system. You know what it is. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm, I'm I'm also having flashbacks to making stupid jump shots in, in virtual pool and failing at that, too. Mm. Also, in real life, just fuck it. Never do a jump shot unless you're a goddamn televised pro. Never Coward. do a jump shot. Coward. How, have you successfully pulled off jump shots? Of course, shots? because I try. Oh, shit. Damn. All right. But if you decide to not try and not get no, 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 no. That's not what I said. Yeah. I've tried and I'm tried. I'm thinking back on it. And you're like, I failed every time. Every so single time. That. But then like that means you'll never get it. <laughs> but it's it's cost the game many a time. <laughs> it's it's a full on throw but the match. When you get it though. Ah. Yo. <laughs> so if I if there's a zero percent success rate and a, and and a, and a potential to lose the match, it's still worth doing it. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't line up. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Ready? I, I also don't have a fucking pool table in my house. Oh, I wish. So I don't have that ability to, to practice that shit. I can't lab it. Although every time like I've had somebody have a pool table at their house... It's bad. It's uh, it's usually bad, or it's good, and the parents are super dicks about it, and they're uh, like, "Don't touch the pool table." Well, it's good because they're dicks. About exactly. It. Yeah. So yeah, there's yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no happiness in the house. I mean, it with is pool table. <laughs> it is insanely hard to like get into a place, and then once you do get it in, to keep it balanced and in yeah. good condition is a whole affair. So I don't blame them. I get it. It's <sighs> it's shitty. To, to put all that money and work into it, to have the kids fuck around with it, yeah. and now it's like even more money to fix, and you're just like, well, never mind, we'll just have it take, be a giant fucking coffee table. Mm. All right, let's go visit Tsukiyama over at Club Moon. We're coming too. Yuki-chan, Ai-chan. Hi. This is the final cabaret for us, Majima-san. 
I can't sit by and let you handle everything yourself. I've always wanted to see what Club Moon is like. Please let me go with you. Ah. Fine. But if it gets a little dicey, I'm pulling you both out of there. Bye. Okay. I'm getting deja vu, actually. I think we had this jump jump shot conversation in in, in the in the, the cabin Were yeah you? yes very much so i think so mm. so this is tsukiyama's club moon we got all the bells and whistles and a great location to boot no wonder it's five stars best club yeah i think i remember kicking your ass is that what happened i forget what happened i think that's what happened did that happen i think i kicked your ass or did i did or like you were supposed to win, and then you sucked the eight ball, uh, the eight ball, and then I won. But then we played darts. The, oh, darts was a different story. I sucked that dart. And then we, and then we, yeah, it wasn't just it wasn't just pool. It was a triathlon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pool, darts, and something else. And some other nonsense. <laughs> yeah. So you can't talk shit. But we had one on one at pool. At we we pool. played some yeah. pool, and then we played some darts. Yeah, but that was some. And then, and then, yeah, well, whatever. They Not, were awful darts, man. I, I, I believe things went uh, quite w well for me. I think that was their darts were fine. All right. That's cool. <laughs> I Run it. No, Run I had, it. I had no problem with those darts. Run it. You're the quirky all king. I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> You're that crocodile. Oh, we're not even talking about the Wooly no crocodile. Fucking we're not even talking, bullshit. We're not even talking about the crocodile. <laughs> Reggie got up and walked away from the table. Dude, I, did, I didn't bring that to the channel, by the dude, way. Dude, I'll give it to you. I didn't bring that to that, the channel. That was uh, that was private salt. Uncanny. BS. That was that was private salt that I let was left for the the, the you know that was for anyone who was at the tournament. I was not salty. I went out for a smoke. <laughs> Took a, I it took a long time on that <laughs> fucking taking a drag. Fucking, we're both learning the game for the first time. You know, it is what it is. And then I was like, "Did you did you want that rematch or not?" I'm like, I yes, I did. I had to remind you. Yeah, it seemed like you didn't want it. I was there. Okay. I came back for it. Well, you know what? I got a board downstairs. It arrived Yo, in the mail. It'll be on some cabin episode at some point for <laughs> sure. For sure, we're doing it. You have no idea. See you at you, man. <sighs> Practically blinded by how sparkly and bright it is. Hey, there she is. With the same angle. <laughs> yeah. What? What the? F Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> you should see how it sparkles on the inside. Yeah. You don't say. Wait. Who the hell are you? Ah. Uh, um. <laughs> wow, you're quite a cutie. Can we help you? Uh, Yuki-chan, don't you know who she is? I try. You know her? Hi. Of course. People say she's Sotanbury's best hostess. She's Club Moon's mana charm. Oh my god. Formerly of Club Mars. Thank you for that splendid introduction. Club Moon. Hi, yeah. Chan. It's so good to see you. I heard you're over at Club Sunshine now. Are you having fun over there? Hi. Yeah, it's a riot. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Actually, she would be the Serena. He's nice. So, Manachan, right? What's your angle, sniffing around us like this? Oh, but aren't you the one sniffing around? I mean, you did come to spy on us today, didn't Damn. you? Damn, she's skilled. How'd you know that? <laughs> well, if you're here to spy on us, wouldn't you like a peek inside? I can give you the grand tour. <laughs> what? You're just going to show us your club? Wouldn't Tsukuyama rain fire on you if you did that? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. He won't get mad. To be honest, he asked me to do it. Say what? He told me you guys would come today around this time, so I should show you around. It's more or less what he said. How does he know all this? Tsukiyama sounds pretty amazing, you know. I heard he's got lots of ways to gather information. So he saw us coming from a mile away. Come on! Isn't it cold out here? Let's all go inside to the club. That okay with you? Yuki-chan, Ai-chan, we're going back. Yeah? yeah? Really? You're leaving already? Why? Tsukiyama's already got us beat on the espionage angle. We're nowhere ready to beat Club Moon in the shape oh. we're in. No way. So let's head back for now. We gotta get Club Sunshine in top shape. Quick like. Hi. Sounds good to me. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I see, I see. Sounds like a wise decision. Fair warning. It won't be easy to beat Tsukiyama-san. <laughs> Easiest for chumps. Our club's gonna be so amazing, even your jaw's gonna hit the floor, Manasan. You wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. 
plan foiled. As soon as they walked in, she was going to lock the door and pull out Moon Scepter. <laughs> and pull a Moon Scepter elimination. And just beat the fuck out of you with that giant scepter. <laughs> Unceremoniously. Club Sunshine, huh? Manasan. Oh, Kotomi-chan. How's Tsukiyama-san's favorite assistant doing? I'm well. And how were they? They seem like they're having a lot of fun. Like there's like something exciting going on, you know? I see. You know, maybe you should try having more fun with this. Like they do. I don't see the point. This is a business. Mm, is that how you really feel? Cub Sunshine. Goromajima. Let's see how far you get. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, I always thought like... You know, Moon Tiara magic, sure. It's a little glowing tiara. You toss it. Um, some of that other stuff uh, uh, has its its glowing magic power. But as soon as the Moon Scepter comes out, I'm like, that is a blunt object <laughs> that does striking damage <laughs> that will probably crush armor. Fucking swing that thing. You don't gotta shoot friendship beams from it. You can just beat the fuck out of them with the scepter. It's huge. You know what? I kind of want to see it. Yeah. I want to see a Saint End Mage, uh, Sailor Moon happening. All right, we're not ready. Clerics only. All right. Diki. Auto. So. Uh. What do we have? Yeah, we're still shy by a couple thousand. Mm -hmm. Because the shot bar is not completed. Right. Okay. We should go complete the shot bar and see if that gives us the last couple thousand, actually. Oh, okay. Um... I don't expect it'll give us like 2,680, but it's going to give us a bit. We'll need every edge we can take. Plus, if we go to the pharmacy, we can drink one of those um, appetite suppressants. I don't know if that'll make you drink more booze. Appetite uh. suppressant. That doesn't sound healthy. Did they just get scared of the money? They got scared of the money. Yo. Now that's rich. Terrifying you <laughs> with cash. Yeah, I think, um... So if you want to eat more food... You can eat some of this, but, uh... Don't know if it applies to drinks, too. Wait, you said appetite suppressant? No, no, excuse me, excuse me. Um... Um... It lets you eat more food. Okay, like a okay, like a stimulant or something. There was one time where I ate a lot, or in one like one sitting. Improves digestive tract function. Oh, that's good. Wait a minute, is it just gonna pass through you better? <laughs> I I assume so. Kobayashi knocking those back. Yeah, there was one day where, like, in the afternoon, I had, like, a soup, like a pho. It's pink. Sorry, it's pink. So, I'm like, is that, like, a Pepto kind of... Hey, Pepto, Bismo. Yeah. And then in the evening, I went to La Milsa. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Where they just come with meat and Yeah, meat okay, and so, and meat so and for Americans, Milsa here is the equivalent of Fogo de Chao to you guys. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so I went to that Churrascaria and... I ate and ate and ate. Yep, that's how that goes. Ate and ate oh, and yeah. ate until you're sick. No, so I think like the fur must have like hydrated and stretched my stomach early wow. during the day, and then I went down. So all the meat I was ate. just landing in the soup. I think I, I think my, <laughs> like it must have stretched my stomach with like the soup and just feels good, but it's not like filling you up. It's empty. It's like liquid. Right, it's a lot of liquid. Mm -hmm. and I ate so much meat, and we left, and I was like, I could still have eaten. And I felt good. I felt great. That's crazy. It was nuts. It was the craziest day ever. Eat a bunch of pho first. Yeah. And you didn't feel full. I, I, 
Well, I was full from the pho, but then but at the end of the night, you digested everything. And you went to and a went goddamn to a, all you can eat all you can meat, meat spot. And we were eating, That's... and like my friend was dancing with the belly dancer. Okay, I don't care how you feel. That was murder on your body. There's yeah. like, <laughs> like I don't care what you this say. It was the craziest day. There's no way that was it good. Was the that was day. that, and that, I'm sure that felt like regret the next day. <laughs> I don't care. Like you're lying. I felt really good to the point where I'm mentioning it. They'll never, it, there's nothing that will be close to that. Because there's a, like, it takes 15 minutes for your body to receive the signal that you're full. Yeah. And water can fuck that up. Right. Liquids can fuck that up mm -hmm. massively. So it could have been that too, you know? Yeah. Because, like, I know that, like, you can, yeah, if you have a lot of water in your system, it, it doesn't work the same as if it's food sitting in your, in your stomach, you know? Mm. Oh, my God. All right. If you'd like, I could get word out about your club. It's yeah. the least I can do to thank you for the help the other day. Let's go. Really, that'd be great, actually. Please don't mention it. It's important to help each other out what we can. You're a valuable customer here, after all. Let's Thanks. do it. Thanks, you'll be seeing me more. 700. 700. All right. Well, we got all the businesses. We did everything we could. You want a drink uh, before we leave, or...? Uh, yeah, a one for the road. Just a little one. A little know? road soda. You can't just come in and not have a little something, you know? I mean, after all, you bought in. Mm. Uh... How about some courvoisier to celebrate? We'll get a little of the courvoisier. Mm. A remarkable specimen from France, Courvoisier XO, won top prize in worldwide cognac tests. The pairing of the finest grapes with bordery spirits produces a full but smooth palate. You haven't had cognac until you've tried this one. Mm -mm. I haven't done a ton of cognacs, to be honest. I don't really know that I can describe. Um, the difference between uh, that and something else? Or if I, I haven't had it in anything or in any way that like left a mark on me, I'd say. So I, I can't really remember mm. the taste or texture to it. Just a little buzz, just a little buzz. And I'm not counting like sitting in the room passing a bottle around taking a swig because like you're not you know you're barely getting a, f a taste for anything that way mm. that's just like you're on a mission i mean if it's a bottle that you're passing around it's probably not top quality yeah well because i'm like for example like kraken i i i, I <laughs> that's not high quality no 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 no. but i'm, I'm bringing it up i'm bringing up kraken as kraken as an example of like i can't describe what that even tastes like because 100% of the time I've tasted Kraken, it has been passing a bottle around in a hotel room. There you go. <laughs> I've never tasted Kraken in a glass. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be uh, enjoyed in that fashion. I don't know any... I don't think so. Never, not even there once. There are some drinks that you're not supposed to sip, you know? And I think <laughs> Kraken is one of those. <laughs> only from the bottle, only in single, you know, swigs. Because of a bet won or lost. <laughs> Sure come a long way with our 5,000 fans. But to compete at the same level as Tsukiyamahan, we're gonna need it to be even better. Hi! 10,000. Majima said, I want to learn how to have a never-ending drive to be better like you, but the door opened! Hmm. Kotomi. It's been a while, Club Sunshine. Uh -huh. hmm? You look familiar. Hi. My name is Kotomi. I'm Tsukiyama assistant at Club Moon. That's right. You were here when the five stars showed up. How can I be of service, Kotomi-chan? Tsukiyama directed me to pick you up, Majima-san. Oh, you have to come now. Pick me up? Why are you taking me? If you would just follow me, I think you'll see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like the irony, or I guess the, the twist is what it, it's like, like, no, I'm inviting you because I'm, gonna, I'm such a villain that we're going to have this little moment. But then what if you actually just take him out anyways? Don't go, Majima. This has to be a trap. He's right. This pretty assistant lady can't tell you what to do. Yeah. Nah, I'm going. Don't do it. If you go, there's no telling what might happen to you. That's exactly why I gotta do it. Can't leave this to anyone else. Yoda-chan, Yuki-chan, you guys take care of Sunshine till I get back. Majima-san, leave it to me. <sighs> be careful. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have quite a story for you when I get back. Shall we then? Right. Hmm. Shh. 
Show me that. Yeah. <laughs> plow, plow, plow. What? Club Moon. Here? This way. Oh, no. I mean, I have not showed up for a shift in weeks. <laughs> to be fair. Tsukiyama-sama, I've brought Machima-sama. Ah. Thank you, Kotomi. <laughs> oh, Kotomi-chan. Majima-san, great to see you. <laughs> How have you been, Majima-san? I must say, the seating here is as uncomfortable as ever. Oi. Yo, Tsukiyama, what are you doing here at the Grand? What a tone to be taking with a customer. From what I hear, does that not make me your king? Nariyate! <laughs> <laughs> you see, I bought out the Grand for tonight. That would make me your customer, does it not? Mm. Are you truly surprised? When you get a man, when you get to be a man of my stature, buying out a place like this is hardly uncommon. All right. What's the point of all this then? You that desperate to have a drink with me? I mean, you know, the mainline story bad guy also pulled this a minute ago. So mm -hmm. your side story pulling it off, it, it doesn't have the same impact. <laughs> <laughs> Please, your sense of humor is appalling. Drinking with you would be my idea of a nightmare come true. I simply wanted to pay my respects. What now? Thanks to you, only Club Moon remains out of the five stars. Not in my wildest dreams could I have imagined that a little club upstart like Club Sunshine could grow so large so quickly. So I wanted to commend you on your achievements. You've certainly worked hard at it. <laughs> you go through the trouble of buying out my place, then you talk down to me? That's pretty rich. <laughs> yes. Alas, this is the end of the road for you, it seems. Club Sunshine, and even Cabaret Grand, both will meet their demise at my hands. The Grand too? What the hell are you really after? <laughs> Very well. I suppose that if you've gotten this far, I can reveal that much to you. My true objective is to take down the Cabaret Grand. Say what? Why on earth would you want to do that? I shall answer that question if, somehow, you defeat me. Regardless, I think I've had my fill of this cheap swill you serve. It's nothing worse for your health, you know. Until next time. <laughs> bye bye. If you continue to oppose Tsukiyama sama, I strongly advise that you prepare to face the consequences. The streets are dark and the moon is young. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Shit. We're still talking about the sit at a bar and have drinks with girls game, right? <laughs> like, like, that's still what we're doing, right? So that's what happened. Tsukiyama was going after Cabaret Grant. And that's why he organized a chokehold on all of Sotenbori's Cabaret Clubs. Who knows why, but that's the gist of it. What about that thing his pretty assistant said? Dark streets, a new moon? is very poetic. Damn, Yuki's smitten. <sighs> Man, Yuki-chan. You're about as naive as they come. What do you mean I'm naive? I just don't know what you don't know. <laughs> what I don't know. Well, I think I get it. When the streets are dark because the moon isn't out, we need to watch our backs. It was a threat, right? Hi, Chan. Where do you pick this kind of stuff up? Well, we've made it this far. All that's left to do now is take down Tsukiyama. You all ready to help me finish this? Hi. Of course. Hi. <laughs> Try my best. <laughs> Let's do this, Yuki-chan! Me too. I can work every day! Of course. I'll do whatever you need, Majima-kun. I owe you a favor for taking me in, Majima-san. This is my opportunity to repay you. Damn, this is the Avengers! Coming together! <laughs> you guys really are something! <laughs> Alright, people! Club Sunshine is about to open for business, so let's go real big today! Hostesses, uh, assemble! Earrings on. Hey! 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 Doing the doing the makeup, <laughs> putting the eyelashes on, the uh, nails. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Magic on it. Yeah. <laughs> on your left. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. It's going down.